Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Stock Show Confidential. I'm Terry Jordan. You know, Oklahoma is known for its agriculture and its rich oil and gas production. Well, this week, we're going to learn more about the OYE, and you're going to meet a very special family that you soon won't forget. I'm Steve Kennedy. We, me and my family live in Amber, Oklahoma. I was born and raised in, in Amber, Oklahoma. Went to school and graduated from Amber Focasset. We're, we're here at the Oklahoma Youth Expo with our, with our daughter, our 13-year-old daughter. And, uh... At this show, the greatest accomplishment I've had would probably be this year getting Reserve Grand Supreme U and third overall Supreme U. But last year, I made the sale for the first time with a first place cross. That was the first time I made the sale, so it's just, the best part about it is making the sale and just having fun. My daughter Jennifer uh, shows, and she does very well. Uh, we're always telling her how she does so much better than we did. My husband and I are always telling her she's so much better than we did when we were showing. Before the show, you have to work with showing the lambs and getting them to be ready to show and making sure they show so they don't get out there and act up. Water them and everything, like taking care of any other animal, you gotta keep, you gotta take care of them and keep them well for the show. Well, our, our daughter is a, is a very active young lady. Um, she's, in, she's active in, in, in her basketball and in, at school and in and, and different programs at school. And, in 4-H, I've done speech contest once, and I did pretty good in that since it was my first time. And I judged livestock with my 4-H, with my school chapter. At my school, I do TSA. We, we push her pretty hard. Uh, we, we like to see her be successful. My parents help me a lot because, like, there's a lot of times when I'm like, I don't want to go out to the barn. They're like, we got to, otherwise, we got to go out to the barn. Otherwise, they're not going to show at the show and they help me a lot with feed and exercise and like if I have a basketball game or I have something to do they'll work with the sheep with me and they'll get them ready and at the show if I don't know like what to do in the show ring like if there's something wrong that I don't know they help me. Growing up all my aunts and uncles and my dad showed sheep and so it kind of just ran in the family to show sheep. When I was nine or ten years old I started showing lambs um, as, as we got into high school and in FFA, I did show, we did show some, me and my brothers and sisters did show some barras. I showed sheep um, from the time I was old enough all the way through. I showed one steer that I borrowed from my sister, and I showed hogs. I showed two hogs when I was a, se a senior. Without like them, I don't know. I wouldn't be doing as good as I am. We enjoy the competition. Uh, Oklahoma Youth Expo is one of the toughest, one of the, one of the toughest shows in the, in the United States. When you come up here, you, you really want to do good. It, it, it makes you feel like you've accomplished something. My favorite thing about livestock showing is being able to go out and show a lamb and do really good, or even not do good, but just being able to have the opportunity to show a lamb. Folks, don't change that channel. When we come back, you're going to hear a very touching story from the Kennedy family. Stock Show Confidential is brought to you by the following sponsors. Sullivan Show Supply and Stock Show University. SureChamp. Justin Discount Boots and Cowboy Outfitters. Showmaster Feeds. StockShowConfidential.com. Rogers Ford. EB Trailers. And Paragon Bed Covers. What separates a champion from second place is champions don't have an off-season. Whether at home or before the big game, champions train and prepare to perform at their best. SureChamp users have no off-season. They feed SureChamp at home and on the road. 
Uh, we feel that the Sure Champ is something that will help keep those hogs on feed as they're hauled to different shows across the country um, and just keep them healthy and on track for their, their goal in the end. Feed Sure Champ because there is no off season. For dealers, visit SureChamp.com. April 19th, 1995, like you hear so many people say, it was just a, it was just a normal spring morning in, in Oklahoma. It was, a, it was a beautiful day. We had just had Easter that Sunday, and so we were all kind of hectic and tired. And uh, I worked in the federal building, and Blake stayed downstairs in the daycare. And Steve also worked in the city, and so he dropped us off. And I worked about five or six miles or so from, from downtown at I-40 and Agnew. I had gone back to work and... And then I just took him to daycares and then went upstairs to my office and was just working when it happened. Right, you know, at 9.02, we heard the explosion there at the store. And I can remember even feeling like it, it happened right there. There was some kind of explosion right there at the building. They are close and we were all kind of looking around. We could see the we could see smoke coming from downtown. I don't really know what happened. I mean, I don't really. I, mean, I guess I kind of got knocked out for a minute or something. But when I had come to, there was all this stuff that kind of fell. I couldn't find. I had, one of my shoes had come off, and I was trying to feel for my shoe. And but we kind of, me and the rest of the people in the office, kind of got up and kind of asking around for each other and. And then we started kind of trying to talk about how to get out. We eventually got out of the building and... It seemed like the very first thing I heard on, heard on TV was that, that there's been an explosion in front of the federal building. So I just, I, I just told my boss, I said, oh, I gotta get down there. As I was driving into downtown, there was emergency vehicles coming from every direction. They had already blocked off a lot of the streets. So I ended up parking uh, quite a ways away and just walking up to the building. When I got to the building, I was on the back side of the building or the south side of the building and, uh, and uh, I could see that the emergency vehicles were more gathered on the southwest corner of the building. So I kind of backtracked and went back around. As luck would have it, uh, Laura and I really got to that little staging area there southwest of the building at the same time. Me and Steve finally kind of got together. We got to trying to find out where, where Blake was, and there's just so much confusion. And we never actually saw, and this is gonna sound strange, but we never actually saw like the front of the building. Uh, there were certain ways you couldn't go around, and, and there's so much confusion. People saying that the kids have been taken somewhere. And she said, they won't let me back in. They won't let me go get Blake. They finally, they told us to go somewhere, and we went somewhere. We, we left with another family there that had, that had kids, that had, they were looking for their kids too. And uh, we ended up at a building there that day and ended up spending the rest of the day there just watching news footage and... Heard some bad things there, heard some news reports and heard some bad things there. The bombing in Oklahoma City was an attack on innocent children and defenseless citizens. It was an act of cowardice and it was evil. It, it was there that, that we finally seen the front of the building and seen how bad it really was, I mean. And each day you're just like, just, you know, we just want, it. you'd come tell us. After the April 19th, they're just, they just, there was very, very few survivors that were found after that, so. When we were at the church there uh, waiting, you knew what the end result was going to be, but you know you kind you tried to hold on to as much hope as you could. When they come get you, you knew what they were coming to get you for. It was it was several days before we actually before we were actually notified that that Blake had died and and that they had identified him. And, and the shock just goes on for a long time before you before you actually even start to accept what happened and it's just with Blake gone that's just with a 18 month old child in your life and all of a sudden he's gone I mean it's just it's a change in your your life it's a big change in the time you used to spend taking care of him and you were robbed of what he would have done I mean you don't know what would happen
Now we're here at the Oklahoma Youth Expo in, in 2012, and, and this would have been Blake's senior year. It, ma it makes you wonder what it would be like. It had been, it had been interesting just, just for Jennifer to have a big brother. When you enter the show ring, your appearance is just as important as that of your animal. At Justin Discount Boots and Cowboy Outfitters, they have one of the largest selections of boots, jeans, and shirts anywhere in the country. With over 70,000 square feet, they have everything to dress you for success and put you in the winner's circle. Shop where the winners shop at Justin Discount Boots and Cowboy Outfitters. I want you to be on your best behavior, smile pretty, because we're on national television tonight. The Secretary of State, former Senator Glenn Coffey. Senator and Sec Mr. Secretary, thank you for being here tonight. Curtis, congratulations. Nice shot. You know, I'm here with Don Arms, and he's been the host of the MC for the legislative show here at the OYA. Now, Don, Tell me how you got involved here. Well, my old friend Clem McSpadden used to do this, and I was a young politician when I came on board. I say young, I was old, but I was young, but I'm kind of the guy that leads the charge. I kind of know where everybody's from, understand the animal. I'm no wag teacher, so it kind of fit me pretty well. Well, let's talk about how this thing evolved from, from not only showing, you know, they show pigs, they show lambs, how'd that all come together? Well, we wanted some way to get the guys from the city and, and some guys even from, as you know, there's some guys in these semi-rural areas that may not really be agriculture people. So we wanted to make sure that those guys had a chance to get out here and actually get their hands on an animal. They interact with a kid from their area. The OYE staff puts together this deal. They make sure that Senator so-and-so is with a young person from his area. And it is a tremendous opportunity for us to get out here and uh, I guess uh, mingle with uh, the youth of Oklahoma and you know, uh, that is our future. That's the future of Oklahoma, and, and what a great setting for us to get out here and, and uh, use an animal to make that relationship. Don, let's talk about how the competition went here today. Well, Terry, what we do, we get, we get kids, of course, matched with their senator representatives. We start in the hog ring. Obviously, this time of year, hogs can get hot, so we want to make sure the hogs are, are shown early. Those people show in the hog ring, and then we may have some of the same in the sheep ring. The sheep are, are the next deal. We put the sheep ring together, and then we go to the cattle ring. Some of those cross over. Some may only show one species, but then we pick from each one of those species a champion in reserve. Then we take them to the cattle ring for the final show off and then we give them a, a, a really neat trophy, a traveling trophy that's named after Senator Robert Kerr who was a state senator here in Oklahoma. And that traveling trophy goes in your office. That's pretty neat, you know. It, it's, uh, it's some good bragging rights. But that, that staged competition is kind of how we determine the final winner. It's always interesting and uh, I, just from previous experience of watching it, taking pictures and knowing how much they get such a and so much enjoyment out doing this, that's what, it makes it really fun. You know, I'd say there's really nothing better that a young person can do than grow up in 4-H and FFA. I learned a lot about leadership, a lot about business and management, how to get along with people, public speaking, working with others, all through FFA. It helped me in college, in law school, and then on into uh, the State House of Representatives. And you know, the funny thing is, when you're in the ag community in Oklahoma, it's like the whole state's a small town. Right. And I've, I've seen guys that I, I showed with, that I was at OSU with, all, you know, all throughout the state government and around the state. Well, and that's what was so interesting out here today is watching some of these guys. Y'all just came straight from the floor and came out here. So they, a lot of them had business suits on and they're worried about maybe stepping in a few things out. Yeah, right well, up. fortunately, I thought ahead and brought some other clothes. <laughs> that's the whole reason to get them out here. We want them boots on the ground with these kids talking about this program and, and seeing this program firsthand. And so we just think it's a great way to do it. Right here, we're developing the leaders of Oklahoma, the leaders of our nation right here in these type programs. Uh, the responsibility, the work ethic that these young people get through these programs uh, is, you know, second to none. And uh, I, I, I thoroughly believe that a lot of our future leaders are right out here today. This is such a wonderful event for not only the state of Oklahoma, but you guys set an example for the rest of the country of how to get 
the government involved oh, in the agricultural end of it. This is where food comes from. That is exactly right. We, and, and as I said to several of the guys we were talking to earlier, we feed America and we've got to make sure young people are in this business. This is a good start. And we've also got to make sure, I think a big piece of that is making sure the legislature of whatever state understands the, important that, uh, the importance of that agriculture piece. Because without that, you just, you know, you lose your identity and Oklahoma's an ag state. Well, it's very obvious that the state of Oklahoma understands the tradition of not only agriculture, but of the youth of America. Get them involved if you can. And Don, thanks so much for hey, joining Terry, us on Stock you. Show Confidential. We always end every show with the same tagline every time, and it's called, here's hoping that we'll see you in the winter circle. I know with good representatives such as yourself, I'll see you in the winter We're circle one more best, time. Terry. Thank you all for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. You bet. <laughs> Folks, give a round of applause to all these young people for bringing these animals out, interacting with these legislators. That is so important as we at the Capitol try to sell this program and make sure that it's always supported the way it should be. So thanks to the exhibitors and parents and ag teachers and county agents for making all that extra effort. We know how tough that is. Congratulations. Well, friends, be sure and check out StockShowConfidential.com, our breeder's corner. We have the top lamb, goat, pig, and cattle breeders listed there. Check it out. Breeder's Corner is brought to you by Drive Magazine. This week, we'd like to showcase some of the top breeders listed there. O'Sullivan Cattle Company was founded in 2004 with the intention of developing a herd of top quality shorthorn genetics. The success of their program has led to many major championships at the Minnesota State Fair, Iowa State Fair, and the Shorthorn Junior Nationals, plus the National Western Stock Show. They added programs both Shorthorn Plus and Crossbed Cattle. Check them out on Facebook at O'SullivanCattle.com. For 35 years, Raglan Hereford has focused solely on producing high-quality Hereford show steers. Located in Rawls, Texas, they concentrate on producing quality, not quantity. They invite you to call, or better yet, stop by and take a look at their cattle that they've spent eight decades and five generations putting together. You'll be glad that you did. RaglanHerefords.com. Langford Herefords in Okamogi, Oklahoma. They have 70 plus years raising, selling, and selecting the best Hereford genetics, selling 250 big stout range bulls, herd bulls, and show heifer prospects. They know Hereford cattle. LankfordHereford.com. If you'd like to be part of this exciting opportunity to showcase your breeding program or have an upcoming sale that you would like to promote, contact me at Terry at StockShowConfidential.com. AB Aluminum Trailers are the choice of serious showmen. Began in 1938, AB's among the most experienced livestock trailer builders. Family owned for three generations with dealers all over North America, AB will be there for the long haul. So it's no wonder you see more AB trailers in show lots than any other brand. Champions choose AB. Come choose yours. From the county fair to the granddaddy of them all, Brian Martin Show Cattle is your source for competitive show cattle that will bring success at all levels. Visit us at Hereford, Texas or online at brianmartinshowcattle.com. Welcome to the world's largest junior livestock show and auction. You know, we're not the largest state in the world. In fact, there's 26 states larger than us but we have the largest junior livestock show in the world. We had 1,957 sheep, 1,942 goats, 3,276, 1,780 cattle for 8,455 animals. And the animals that you're bidding on today are the best of the 8,455 that brought their animals here to Oklahoma City. Bid long and often. All right. Where's that grand steer? Logan Davis, a hardworking young man from down at Newcastle. As you analyze this steer and you analyze the effort that goes into all of these champions, you'll understand what I'm talking about. The opening bid is 10,000 on the grand steer. Starting along, let's set a new record. What you ought to do on him down there now? 10, 15, now 20. Yeah, 45 here, high five. Yeah, 60 on him here, not even all in. Thank you. Sold out 60,000. 
Let's talk about the Oklahoma Youth Expo and how important this is to the state and what it does for these young people. Well, the, the, the Youth Expo, uh, when we took it over about 10 years ago, was giving out about $300,000 in uh, prize money. Right now we're at $750,000 and another $750,000 in scholarship money. And our purpose, of course, is to help these young people to learn a good work ethic. We will invest in Oklahoma youth over a quarter of a million dollars a year. So we're always happy to have an opportunity to come out and support our youth. They're, they have a great work ethic. They're young people that have been taught the values of life and the values of, of making an honest dollar, and they're the type of people you want to hire. So that's what caused me to get involved, as well as my former uh, experiences of OAG instructor. Mr. Ted, what would you like to start the bid out at? We'll start out at 5000 Sounds great. On your grand bear. What do you want to do? 90, 90, 9, 10, 90, 90, 11, 18,000, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Thank you and I sold the Grand Merit 17.5. You know, every year a group of legislators in Oklahoma kind of band together and go out to the sale and support our young people. And our purpose, of course, is to help these young people to learn a good work ethic and to help them to go on to the universities and or the trade schools and, uh, and uh, come back into the job market. The grand champion, Lamb, is a Hampshire. Get on board here, what are you gonna give on him five, six thousand? It's, uh, it's fun to get back to the show barn and appreciate the hard work that all these young folks put into their livestock. You know, it takes a lot of effort to get to where they are now. And this is the top show in the country and certainly recognizes their good efforts. So it's something that we're real proud to be a part of and real proud to put our emphasis and money into. We'll spend, a, uh, invest. We don't spend, we invest an awful lot of money here in the premium auction. And uh, I, it just thrills me to be able to. It doesn't pain me at all. It's an investment in the future. Well, well deserved honor. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, friends, that's gonna wrap up another edition of Stock Show Confidential. We hope you've learned some things today that, well, you can apply to your projects back home. And always remember that today's youth are tomorrow's leaders. Until next time, here's hoping that we'll see you in the winter circle.